regain the ashes. There was so much about that series, and I'm lucky enough to, you know, have spoken to all of the combatants in, in that series and, and get their memories of it, but to, to be part of it and hear their stories. But Old Trafford specifically, you know, that test match for me was, I believe, even though it was the drawn test, I think it was one of the, the great test matches. Ponting's 100, um, you know, to, do, to save the game for Australia. And, and Michael Vaughan says this about that particular game at Old Trafford, is that he said he, he, he knew we had them because the Australians celebrated a draw like it was a win. And that was a slight shifting in the, in the impetus of, of the dynamic of where Ashes cricket was. You know, Australia were used to beat in England. You know, you go back to Lords, and even though Australia won Harmison hitting Ponting on the, on the cheekbone, then you go to Edgebaston and Grant Jones's cats off uh, Michael Kasprovich off Steve Harmison. And then, you know, you, go, you can go through each and every test match just like that. But specifically to Old Trafford, um, I think about Vaughan's century. I do. And, you know, and Strauss, I think it was in the second innings, people getting locked out of Old Trafford, you know, people getting locked out of cricket grounds for test cricket. It, it's incredible. I mean, I go back to last year and commentating on the One Day International between England and Australia when Josh Butler hit the, hit the 100 and England were done. They were done. They were nine down for just over 100, needed 200 and odd to win. And the big open stand, uh, which is raucous and noisy. And, and this, a, a lot of grounds when they are redeveloped and when there's a lot of changes. You know, I came here from when I was, you know, five, six years old, you know, Bolton cricketer and Bolton boy, and we used to come down here and watch, you know, watch the great Lancashire teams. Uh, my hero, Wazim Akram, watch him performing for, for, for Lancashire. And a lot of times you can think about cricket grounds and the way that they change and the soul of the place that gets taken away. Well, it's they've done it brilliantly here. I, I still feel that buzz and that, that, that sense um, of anticipation when coming to a game here. So you go back to when Joss hit his 100 and, and the, the moment he hit his 100 and the roar. I mean, I just can't remember hearing a sound like it.